All right, welcome back. We're playing as the one and only OG Frank, and unfortunately, the last episode, we saw a poor bastard die. Let's just get our sniper rifle out, see if we can spot his body. Um, did I not get the gun out? There we go. No, I think... Oh, is that his body? Yeah, it is his body. There's blood definitely coming out when I shoot. If we shoot somewhere else. That is... Okay. I guess that's not blood. That's just dirt. But it does look like that's a body right there. Maybe, I don't know. That his body or maybe it went downstream but unfortunately he thought he could fly or something i don't really know what he was on but the dog that could talk to franklin and franklin could understand said that uh, he was trying to commit suicide in the meantime let's have a look at this sunset which is quite amazing i don't want to switch characters but that's what we are going to do still says says that we have that one more mission with franklin but i'm not quite sure how we need to activate that but in the meantime We've got the Apilson program, I think it's called, or something like that. Some type of cult, which you can access. They ha they give you about five or so missions. Have fun, Angel. See you later. Okay. That's cute. Like how they're back together, so now we've got the cutscenes to show us that. And we even... Okay, we open the door for her. Jeez. What a lazy, lazy lady. All right, so... Let's have a closer look at... Uh, we don't really have anything else to do. Got that garage. No other houses to buy or anything. Well, that we can afford, really. Because um, the rest is that movie theater and the golf course. So, in the meantime, let's hit up our phone. Go to the internet. With the music blaring in the background. And, actually, no. Before we do that, let's get out of here. Open back out our phone and go to email. Uh, it's, it's legendary motorsport. I find welcome to hookies. Okay. Merriweather, Dave Norton, Maze Bank, Ammunition. Okay, that's it. Seems like that's it. All right, so it doesn't store your text or anything. Let's head back over here. Steve on your radio. All right, like so radio sidekicks that don't I am going to have to just quickly bring up. Much. There we go. All right. It's because I'm using a second screen so I can see what I need to go on on the wiki. So, so I wouldn't know any of this if it wasn't for the wiki. So what I'm going to have to do is just... Oh, oh. That was an interesting 404. All right. So we need to go www. Actually, there we go. It's already up for us. And then a Pilsen. Sam Flax right here. And program dot com. Supposedly Michael's wife also has like a dating website profile, which we could check out, but I don't know what it is. Uh, so that means it's good to go. <gasps> what? It says, as Michael, open up a web browser on your cell phone or computer and navigate to a Pilsen's website. Pilsenprogram.com. All right, well, maybe there's something over here. No, there we go. The Pilsen program. Did I not just type Epsi? Oh, it's Epsilon program. All right, and what we've got to do is evaluate your identity. All right, let's do this. So this is, I guess, like Scientology style type of stuff. Uh, there are no questions. The answers are the questions. Do you have red hair? No. Do you ever experience deja vu again? <laughs> yeah, we'll just go with yes. I could have gone with uncertain. Probably would have made more sense. Do you want to understand completely to be complete? Uncertain. Do you have the endurance? So I'm not quite sure if I'm supposed to be answering in any particular pattern, but do you have the endurance to lie with nine partners a week? Well, I don't think Michael does, no. Do you consider attractiveness relative to your own attractiveness? Probably. I don't know. Do you have a birthmark on your face? Yo. Oh, it's no, but let's just go with uncertain. Do you want to be famous? Definitely not. Are you able to look at things and see them as metaphors for other things like... Jesus Christ. Do your checks clear? No. <laughs> I think there's only really one answer for that, though. Yes. All right. Um, Get results. Processing. Okay, we got large amounts of testosterone. Narcissistic awareness. Uh, 
botulism. I've got no idea what that is. Girth, aggression, heterosexuality. What's this? Neuroticism, ego, self-loathing, and stability. You have an enlightenment level of 24%, which is the highly undesirable band. Oops. All right. All right, so I'm assuming if I head back out of here. Now, there we go. Now, I've got a question mark, which is, where is it? Of course, there's somewhere far away in the countryside. Let's not drive over there. Of course, I do like my helicopters. They're a lot more exciting, I'd say. They're a lot more fun, at least. Tell me, guys, if you prefer watching me drive or if you prefer helicopters. Maybe it'd be more exciting if I drove there. You get to see some stuff happen on the uh, ground, etc. But I think a lot of you guys really don't like my driving style at all. Because I keep on crashing everywhere. Like, personally, like signposts, I couldn't care less about them because we're just going to drive right through them, though. That's not really an issue. But I guess cars, when I smash into cars, it's not good. So we go with the helicopter. So only I can really elaborate on the good couple of minutes on whether I should drive a, right, drive a helicopter. Fly a helicopter. The full moon tonight as well, and we just went past where we want to go. Never really get over that horn. Alright, I wish there were some other helicopters around here. Uh, what I'm going to probably do, well, because this helicopter isn't really the fastest, and we've only got the cargo bob. Well, we'll fly with it anyway. It's just not the best helicopter to go around in. Alright, so now we've got to select on the map the Epsilon program. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's going to end up finishing off the Strangers and Freaks missions. It's kind of annoying that, yeah, like I say, I wouldn't have known without the wiki, looking at the Grand Theft Auto 5 wiki, um, that, oh wow, that's cool. Looks like the London Eye, almost. Ferris wheel. I completely forgot what I was talking about. Uh, we're going to have to watch out because the military base is just over those mountains and we don't want to die. Yeah, but this helicopter isn't the fastest. We can also pull down... Oh, wrong button. There we go. There's the little hook. But you can't really grab onto anything. I'm not really sure how all that works. I'd love to be able to... What the hell is that? I guess it's just some weird lights. Yeah. Some weird water features. But I'd love to be able to get that helicopter with the magnet, with the massive magnet that's like able to suck anything up to it. But that would be pretty fun, but I don't think I'm able to do that. There's a tennis court there. It seems like I can't play. I guess it really is someone's own backyard though. It's an interesting cloud formation. It just got dark really quick just then. So we're going around the military base. Not doing anything too crazy. I can't remember. There's, there's more than a couple of ways to this military base. There's that bridge. Yes, there's... I don't know. And then there's a side entrance that I got around somewhere. I'm not sure, not sure how I got there. It's around this uh, country road, though. There's a, another side entrance. Who knows? That's uh, just over this mountain, I'm assuming. How far away is it? Pretty close. I've actually got a house right around here. Actually, it's not a house. I think it's a business. That's what it is. Uh, where the hell is this cult? Right over here somewhere. Give 
the upsetting upset alive and dear, the number one DJ. Or the death angel, God sent from heaven to collect all the money. Alright, obviously somewhere right here. Alright, I think it's this red truck. I read something about a red truck. Let's jump out. Beautiful. Oi! Oh, no, no. Oh, shit. It's a bloody tree going our way. Alright, we're going to be right back and I'm going to get up to the same place. Alrighty, we're back on track quite literally to where we need to go. I'm riding on the train tracks, of course, because, well, the police were after me and this was the best option, and they've given up the chase, so I'm rather grateful for that. In the meantime, let's try to make it out to rather unscathed, and hopefully there's not going to be any trains, especially in this little narrow bits of the train tracks, but we should be good, especially because we are driving so quickly. There's a train that passes by not all that long ago, so... After this little tunnel over here right now, we're going to be able to go down here. And it's pretty much just this dirt track to get... Whoa! If we're able to manage, it's just fine. It seems like we've got a bit of blood on our own car, which isn't really that much of a surprise. Knowing me. I'm not sure if, we, if it's our own blood or because we drove someone over. God damn stupid deer as well. I'm assuming there will also be a Cabela's game this year. I remember I played Cabela's games last year. At least one of them. Because they released two games in the same day. Two different hunting games, which is incredibly weird. But, and again, Cabela's games aren't really known to be that good. Poor guy. Should have led us through, though. Really loving these mountains. They really do feel monstrous. Alright, so not too long to drive to now. Hopefully we'll be making it just alright. Yeah, it's somewhere right around here, if I remember correctly. Right around the hill. Oh, right around the corner, sorry. And we're looking for a red truck. And then, like, we say some secret code word or something, and... Then two guys come out of the no like the middle of nowhere. Let's have a look. Red truck, check. Not sure if we need to get in it or what. Ah, red truck, huh? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Seeking the truth. Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflum. Yo, peace, brother, brother. Kiflum. Oh, Kiflum. really? Oh. That's interesting. And there's going to be a whole section of these Strangers and Freaks missions now that we've unlocked, which is exciting. I think there's going to be about five more. Here we go. Alright, so Kiflom is like Xenu, I guess. Mission passed. Oh, and they literally put us out in the middle of nowhere. Bastards. Okay. Well, let's go about paying $500 as we stammer along. I'm not quite sure where this next mission is. Seems like we've got absolutely nothing available to us at the moment. Nothing's popping up. Okay, here we go. Let's get onto the road first off. Uh, we should have our weapons, yeah. We do have all our weapons, so that's all good. Here we go. Please visit our websites. Thankfully, we can... Oh, God, no, I don't want to quick save. Get out. Thankfully, we're able to access the hyperlinks by pressing X. There we go. That's good. Just donate the $500. Thank you for your donation, brother, brother. Giflom be praised. Giflom. Okay. So now that Kiflom is praised, we should be able to... Oh. How am I not... Okay, we're going to die here. We're not going to be able to get back up. Oh, man. 
Oh, okay. That's actually good. Really good. Um, that's a nice looking camper you've got there. Not what I'm looking for, though. That's not what I'm looking for either. Yeah, this... Okay. This car's much better. Jeez, right, come on, come on, out. So... Oh, okay. This, let's just get away from this guy. Wait until he gives up. Yeah, he's giving up. And... So we've given the $500 to Kiflom. Doesn't seem like we have any more Kiflom missions, though. We should, though, sooner rather than later. Check out. Franklin's still got that one mission. All right. There's one thing that I know we can do at the moment, and that's to go on a date with Osala. We'll call her up, and hopefully she's still awake. It's nighttime. There's the time. I'm pretty sure it does change when you switch characters. I think, at least, anyway. Maybe it doesn't. I haven't really noticed myself. What the hell are you doing? Oh, shit. I wish we had more time to delve into the real implications of your bigotry. Uh, <laughs> he absolutely hates the lost motorcycle crew. Let's see if the body's still there. Oh, wow. It still is. You can even see the blood splatter. Can't really read that, though. All right. So let's open up our phone and contact it is Asala. Even a bad little girl. I need to stay. I'll be at the marina. Come pick me up. All right. So we're going to give Asala a spanking. Right. To cancel the booty call, call the seller back. I don't want to let it down. So, oh, come on, let me through. Okay. Well, it's not really showing us where we need to. Where is the place where we need to go? All the way over here, really? Oh, okay. That's gonna be a bit of a trek. How about we go to the airport and arrive in style then? All right. Wait, Franklin, uh, I mean, Trevor, he can't really, yeah, he doesn't have any planes that he can access on the southern side of the map, apart from stealing them, of course, this is too great which is what we're going to be doing. Sort of thing to us. We'll try to steal a jet or something. Megamore to our left. Going cheap. I guess, like, cheap like a little chicken does. Chip, chip. <laughs> Let's just drive over to where we need to go. Why the hell do both sides of the road go this way? That doesn't make any sense. Anyways. Not long left to the helicopter. Oh, not the helicopter, but the uh, airport, which is where we want to stop off at. This man definitely knows how to pick up speed, but its acceleration definitely isn't that good. And that guy's dead already, because that didn't take long. Oh, come on. Asala was abandoned. Let's call her up again. You want the best two minutes of your life? Now isn't a good time. I've been binging on soil again. Oh, what? Let's give her up for another call. Unless we're going to have to wait like a little bit, which would suck. How do you feel about some cold, anonymous sex? I can't right now. I have a little problem I need to bury. What's this, this problem that she's got? Wow, we made that unscathed. Unbelievable. Alright, um, let's firstly find a car, which will most likely be a taxi over here. Nope, yeah, Cadillac. Haven't done anything. Oh, what is that black mark? I guess it's the, oh, right, it's the shadow from the telephone line. Me, you. Jackass. Obviously a worker here. Oh, 
ship. Thank you. Police are going to be after us, so let's go out for a little bit of a run around, making it out unscathed. Here we go. This jet seems good. Good to go. Thankfully, there aren't too many people around here. Just yet. The helicopter's going to be on our backside very shortly. Alright, beautiful. We're off. Now, I'm pretty sure Trevor's got maximum um, flying ability. So, it's going to be a pretty smooth plane ride over there to Asala. At least we're going, trying to go over there. There's, uh, no. Okay, well, we can't really switch characters even when the cops are after us. But it doesn't seem like Michael's got another mission. I should have a check at how we progress through the storyline. But I did donate the $500. There we go. So I've given up, which is great news for me. Let's bring up our... Oh, no. Why do I keep on bringing up quick save when I don't want it? Let's get out of there. What's over here? I don't know. Anyways. Go back up to contacts. She better want to call us now. Now isn't a good time. I've been binging on soil again. Jesus Christ. Uh, how about we go recreate the um, the scene with pretty much this plane over the dam? Although, what would that give us? Not much, really. So let's not do that. Uh, let's. There must be someone else I need to call. Play this. Uh, this is Cletus. I got both hands on He sucks. What happens if we just fly over here? Look how detailed the whole prison is. It's pretty amazing they've got seats down here. You are in restricted airspace. Divert your course or you will be shot down. Wow, we only got... Okay, one star now. I've got two stars. I got three stars the first time I did that. Which was kind of interesting. Um, let's see... Who are all these guys? I don't know who Joe is. Oh, right, he's the the border patrol. He's dead. Uh, you reach Joe. Please leave a message in American, i.e., English, after the tone. <laughs> what else is there? There must be someone else. Marianne. Let's see if we can get freaky with her. She's always busy though. Well, I'll be fine. I know. What a dumb butch. Uh, O'Neill, Nigel. So these people serve no purpose after we've completed the missions. I am currently on holiday the missions. in the United States of yeah, America. Yeah, if you are telephoning from England, I will return your call as soon as I fathom the plus sign on this mobile. What I'm doing at the moment, I've got no idea. Here we go, the hen house. I just came to find... Oh, someone did something. All right, let's do this property mission then. That's the best thing about just mucking about. There's always something that could pop up. Let's go land this plane right on the road. Although, it's most likely going to end in tragedy, though. There we go. That wasn't all that bad. We just walk out, 
You're just casual, like nothing's happens. But these vehicles are definitely popular it's around. Going to a good home. Look at the engine detail. Alright, so let's have a close look at what's happened over here. At our place. It's not our clothes, clothes shop though, is it? It's just a random clothes shop. Get in the truck. Alright. Dibble to the booze bus to the bar before the time runs out. And we can't get the things damaged too much. Alright, this is gonna be interesting. We should be able to do it without any problems though. Just gotta watch out for crashing and all. What exactly is this bar? Oh, okay. We're gonna have to drive a little bit on the country roads. Oh, we should be good. We should be able to get there in four minutes or so. That's gonna be it for this episode, once we get there. I really gotta figure out how we continue on with the Epsilon missions. So at the moment I've got no clue. Alright, here's hoping that we have absolutely no damaged goods so we can complete this mission perfectly. Definitely well protected out from the front though. So even if we do crash into something, we should be well protected. I'm a bit worried about the time though. We've got three minutes, but 2.25 miles. And I have to drive pretty quickly. Especially because this is such a dodgy country road. Not the best to traverse over really quickly. Poor doggy. His other buddies are still alive though. Damn, this is gonna be real close for time. Two minutes, 1.5 miles pretty much. Probably be like 1.2 miles once we, get, once we get out of this uh, tunnel though. 1.2 is my assumption. Let's have a look. Yep, 1.26, so close enough. Gonna have to get there really quickly though. Oh, 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 shit. Now we drove over some people too. A good measure, but that pretty much had to be done. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna make it. Oh, that was close. But if I make this unscathed, I'll be cheering. Hopefully the payday is going to be good. Shit. Alright, we're going to have to pick up some speed. Half a mile in 30 seconds. It can be done, I assume. It's gonna be mighty close though. Incredibly close. Oh wow. Well, it must, must have been possible to do. Not like I was driving really slowly or anything though. Oh shoot. 
I failed it. I failed it. Wow. Where did I need to go? Over here some. I didn't see the yellow dot. Wow. Well, I sort of deserved that. Damn. Literally in the last second. The hen house. Bar nightclub. I guess we'll just have to water down the beer then. I'm really angry now. I want to kill some people. Let's just go into Rampage. End it in style. Let's even get the military on us. So I don't have any body armor though. Wait, am I going to be able to go to the barber? I know, I'm quite surprised you made it out alive. Anyone else in here? No. She's just frolicking about. Private. No, we can't get in there. No, 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 no. I want to move a body. Let's see what's going to happen. Door magically open. I guess all the bullets were causing that though. Whoa, 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 you got way too close, mate. Four stars, here we come. Let's go with the good old AK. Do I not have the AK? Okay, now we do. Still on four stars. I need to get my health back up though. What we could do... No, no, no. I want the sticky bomb. There we go. They're going to be repelling down. Get our health back up though. Here we go. Here they come. As soon as someone tries to come in the door, though, they're dead. <laughs> like that. Yeah, let's do it back up again. I think my right thumbstick's starting to break or something. You sure you want to do that, mate? <laughs> How do we not? What do you have to do to get five stars, though? Like I got five stars in that tank, much easier than what I'm doing, what I'm doing right now. Oh, when we died, wow, that happened pretty quick. We got four stars though, that was well worth it. But until next time, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed. I most definitely have. We'll figure out how we can get more of those epsilon program missions going. Till next time, make sure you enjoy and press the like button if you have. Till next time, I'll see you later.